We'd like everybody to take part in our soul food cook-off on February 20th at Hannah Penn Middle School. Today we're going to show you how to make baked macaroni and cheese. And then if you have leftovers the next day, you can make fried macaroni and cheese. My water is already close to a boil and I'm going to take the salt and heavily season it to season the pasta. Now Madeline is going to explain our cheeses that we're going to use. All right. For the baked macaroni and cheese, there's four different cheeses that you use. We have the Colby Jack, the Pepper Jack, the Munster cheese, and the Velveeta cheese. Today we're going to be using milk as our base to make our cheese sauce. Some people use root as their base, which includes using flour to bind everything together, but we're just going to make a simple one by using milk. We're going to add our milk to our saucepan to a medium-low temperature. And then we're going to cut up our cheeses from hardest to softest. One of the biggest aspects of the cook-off is, over the years, everyone has like this, this person, their mother, their aunt, their grandmother, who cooks the best um, baked macaroni and cheese or best sweet potato pie or whatever it is. And we just want those people to come out and you know, participate because you know, if that's, you know, everyone has these people that they know in their families that does this. That's the sense of what the contest is supposed to be about. It's the sense of um, just p people coming together, everyone having the opportunity to taste other people's dishes. I mean, we've had hundreds of people come to taste. <laughs> but we want as many people as possible to actually come and, and cook and share. How long do you stir this till? Until all the cheese is melted. These are the next two steps for the macaroni. I'm going to melt a stick of butter and Anastasia is going to scramble two eggs which are going to be used as a binder for the cheese sauce and then we're going to add it to the macaroni. I'm on a plate. We had like 500 people last year. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. It's huge. I mean, it's really, everybody comes together. We have kid activities. We have vendors. There's people vendors. in the hallway vendors. Um, Troy Drayton, he played for the Dolphins. He played for Penn State, he played for the Dolphins. He's coming. Shelly Hammonds, he played for Penn State. Um, Blair Thomas may come. We have all these activities for the kids. So we're going to have a bounce around in the gym. They get to play Wii. They get to play different activities. There's probably about 20 to 30 vendors. We essentially provide anything that you need outside of the food that they're going to prepare. Now we're going to add the macaroni to our pan, and then after I'm, after we're done adding the macaroni, Madeline is going to put the butter, and cheese. the butter and cheese into our macaroni. So then they come the day of the event with their trays pre done at home. And you can add trays if you want to, right? Yes. You can add a dish, you can add more if you just want to have more to offer to people. So all the supplies, if you will, yeah. outside of what you're cooking. So the next step, I'm going to add butter to the macaroni to use it as a binding. Now we're going to add the egg. We have already preheated, well pre-prepped our pan with cooking spray so that it doesn't stick onto the pan. As you see, we've melted our butter, I mean our cheese down, and now we're going to add it on top of on top of the macaroni. Now we're going to fold it into the cheese, into the macaroni. Now Madeline is about, about to place our macaroni and cheese in the oven. And you set it in here at, you preheat it at 350 and you let it cook for about 30 minutes. And then you have your end result. These we have our leftover baked macaroni and cheese from the previous day that you can cut into bite size to make an appetizer for anybody or just for your kids as finger foods. And now Anastasia is going to show you how you dredge your appetizer. You take a piece of the macaroni that you cut, you put it in your all-purpose flour, you put it in your all-purpose flour, then you scramble, you um, 
whisk the eggs until they're nice and whisked. Then you take your macaroni and you place it in the egg. You dredge, you dredge it all around. Then you put it in these breadcrumbs. They're called pinkos and they're a light Japanese type of breadcrumb. And you just put it, you put them all around. You put them in your fryer and you fry them at about 350. You leave them in for about four minutes and halfway, two minutes through the process, or halfway, however long you want to keep it, you split them over. Just make sure when they're done, they're a good golden brown. Now Madeline is placing our, our finished product onto some paper, some paper plates so that it will drain. And as you see, came out nice and golden, golden brown. Over here we have the marinara, and you can use that as a dipping sauce for a cultural twist. The Hannah Penn is fortunate. We've had a tremendous staff. We've had so many teachers um, cook with the students. They come out every single year and they participate as cooking buddies. But we would really like to see more people from the community because there's so many that people that have grandmothers, aunts, uncles, brothers, sisters, whoever it might be, that has a secret recipe and everybody wants to share it. And that's what we would like to see at the cook-off. Like everybody wants the opportunity to taste, you know, the secret family recipe. We're going to try our finished product of the fried macaroni and cheese. We got it pretty good. Mm -hmm. I like it. Yeah, we did a good job. Mm -hmm.